Hello and welcome to Real Civil YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the what is rate analysis and purpose or importance of the rate analysis. Okay, I will share these notes with you people also. Okay, on my Telegram channel, whose link is given in the description box. Okay, so before going to see what is rate analysis, I want to give one example so that entire rate analysis concept will get clear to you people. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's start. I will uh, take an example of concreting. Okay, so suppose we are doing the concreting work. So we will need its rate. Okay, we know the concreting is measured in M cube. Okay, so rate per unit is required. Okay, so just tell me for concreting, we will require some material. Okay like cement sand aggregate then uh, we will require some labors okay then we will need some equipments also okay like uh, mixer is there vibrator is there float is there so there are different equipments and some miscellaneous or other things we will require that we have to consider okay so rate analysis is simple so from this example you can understand that rate analysis is nothing but to carry out the rate per unit so you have to carry out the rate per unit of a particular item means item means concreting or plastering okay so carry out the rate per unit of a particular item of work from the cost of consequence cost from the cost of material cost of labor cost of equipments and other miscellaneous okay all of these things we have to consider to prepare a rate analysis that is nothing but a rate analysis so i will once again just read the definition the determination of rates per unit of a particular item of work from the cost of quantities of material, cost of labor, cost of equipments and other miscellaneous petty expenses required for the completion is known as rate analysis. Okay, I will share these notes with you people also. Okay, so next point is purpose and importance of the rate analysis. So what is the purpose? So first is to determine the current rate per unit of an item. So here we will get the rate. Second to calculate the quantities of material required for the project so after carrying out rate analysis we will get the quantities of material third we will come to know which type of labors we will require okay like bishti or mason head mason which type of uh, depending upon the work which type of labors we will require we will come to know here Next is which type of equipments, number of equipments we will require that is also get covered here. Then there are a few more advantages. Okay, by knowing the rate of different item to estimate the total cost of project. So you know the concreting rate, plastering rate, brickwork rate. So combining all of these, you will get the total cost of the project. Next is to examine the viability of rates offered by contractor. So suppose contractor is giving you the rates, then you can compare, you can check its rate analysis. What kind of material is he considering? How many labors he is considering? What are their rates? So all of these things will get clear when you study the rate analysis. Then it is very important to fix up the labor contract rates. Okay, so during rate analysis, which type of work we are going to do? So which type of labor? And we have to fix their rates also. Then to determine the rates of extra item. Suppose any extra item is required. Suppose you are doing the excavation and there is some groundwater. So you have to remove that water before concreting. So that pumping will be required. So you have to add these extra item also. And finally to prepare schedule of rates. So once you prepare for concreting, PCC, RCC, brickwork, then you can have your SOR, that is schedule of rates. So uh, that is the uh, basic about definition 
of rate analysis and purpose or importance of rate analysis in next lectures we will going to cover factors affecting the rate analysis okay thank you for watching the video please like share subscribe real civil youtube channel thank you thank you so much